Alrighty. Come on. I'm scared. <laughs> One, two, three. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Paige Brene. And it's your girl Yaya. And welcome mm -hmm. back to another episode of Local Fine Shit the Podcast. God damn, we're gonna get it right one day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not today, not last episode, and probably not the episode after this, but one day. Yeah, sometimes I just like forget. Yeah, I know for sure. Hey girl, how have you been? Good, you know, just stress the fuck out because my blast from the past is really um <laughs> Makes me a little bit nervous. I haven't told anybody this before. Yeah, special. <laughs> yeah, because it's a regret after sex, y'all. So I think it was this year on my birthday. I decided that I wanted to be alone for whatever reason. Like I was just real into going out by myself, and I was like, I'm gonna get me a hotel room. I'm just gonna spend the next three days with the fuck I want. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it wasn't even like nobody would have came. It was just like I want to see how this go. So it was a fun little time, but like I, I've never had birthday sex, like actual sex on my birthday. It was all about me never happened so i was thinking hey this is your year you know what i'm saying okay, really sorry honey it was the dad pad <laughs> oh child so it got to the end of the night on my birthday mm -hmm. my job so i'm just you know when you just be getting numbers off looking at you gonna keep them in order and it's track so one nigga was like i'm gonna pull up on you i would drop a pin i'm in this room was the wrong bitch first of all he came in the room smelling like cigarettes i said get in the shower i didn't even want him to lay in the bed because my mom literally just got me a new blanket with my logo on it it was real cute real nice and i hate to smell the fucking cigarettes like above all so i just wanted my pussy ate. like he was trying to fuck and i was like nah i really just want my pussy ate and my ass ate and bitch like it was i didn't expect it to be as good as it was it was actually really bad it was actually really really sad and then I was, he was like, come on, come on. You know when niggas be begging, they be like, come on, come on, come on. Let me just one time, one time, one time. And then bitch, I was like, you know what? I'm sorry about that. No, you're good. I was like, you know what? It can't be like, the dick has to be just as good as the mouth. No. Five minutes in, I was like, please get the fuck off me. Like, just get off me. I literally pushed him off of me. Get off me. Literally get the fuck off. Because I was just like, bitch, as soon as he left the room, I laid on the bed and I shed a few thug tears. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, this is what regret feels. I don't think I've ever felt that feeling in my fucking life. So that brings us into our first topic of instant regret mm -hmm. after sex. Have you ever felt it? Unfortunately, I have. Yeah, it's not one of my favorite things. Um, let me try to think of a time. Because oh, I really tried to make sure that I never had forgot about this shit. So let me try and remember. Mm. Um, yes. Um, we're here, bro. Yeah. I don't remember it all the way enough to even tell y'all. That's the thing. I just remember, like, I was very hornball. And, like, at the time, my favorite dick at the time, like, he was so inconsistent. He was so inconsistent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, um, you know, I just, you know, I had to fuck something. I was, I needed something. Yeah. So I started talking to this new nigga, whatever, whatever. He was very nice. That's how I should have known. <laughs> that he was going to be trash because he was so fucking nice. Not I only me like, niggas got good dick. That's a, only fuck niggas really got good dick. Only fuck niggas yeah. got good dick. I, I can't even say that because the dick in my life, like, it... He not a fuck nigga. The body that's attached to that. <laughs> <laughs> there are two separate entities. He has he has his ways, but okay. as a person, I don't feel like he's a fuck nigga as a person. Okay. He has fuck nigga tendencies. So it I gotta be in you not on you. <laughs> but he has a fuck nigga ness in him, and that's why his dick's probably so good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the nigga was way too nice. He was way too fucking kind and sweet and gentle. Like, <laughs> do you like that? Can I move my Yeah, and he, that was one thing he kept saying. Like, he was asking me, like, you like that? You do, is this making you feel good? I'm like, bitch, clearly it's not because you have to ask me. Like, Literally. I'm no fucking noise. I'm not doing shit. I'm damn near about to kick you in the ball. And let's not get shit twisted. We love consent. But, like, you know when I like it. I feel like you, 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 you. Yeah, it's a different. I don't mean, I'm not trying to say, like, I just like disrespectful men or anything That's like that. that. That's not what I'm saying. But this nigga was just like overly kind like mm -hmm. he still live with his mom like you know like those niggas who be 40 live with his mom and they're just mama's boys 
Mm. That type of nice. But he he didn't live with his mom, but that's just like the, his vibe. Yeah, this is the vibe that he gave. It was like Norbit or something. But yeah. So what made you regret it instantly? Like the fact that that wasn't even a dick I wanted. That's facts. And <laughs> I was in third place. Like I literally he wasn't even a place at oh, all. Like he was just a bad decision. <laughs> I really, I couldn't even tell you the bitch name. Like, oh, bro, like, it's a regret. You be feeling that shit. <laughs> you be feeling that shit in your gut, bro. Like, yes, no sooner than they it. get up off you, it's like, Ugh, I want to throw up at my decision. It's something you just erase out of your head. Bitch, I swear. Like, I erase a lot of things from my memory. That's a fucking fact, as you should, because your brain got to make room for something, and it can't store all the bullshit that we've been through. So let's let's get off the, listen. If you have not regret after sex, then you probably had a feeling before that you shouldn't have did it. And just listen to that. Because it's better to just go unsatisfied than have regret about it. I said it. Because, bitch, the, um, the niggas I wish I could have raised. Well, I have erased them mentally, but. No, you know niggas I, mean? I wish I could have raised have been erased. I can't even tell you about them. Okay, period. Couldn't tell say. you about them, babe. <laughs> so, All right. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and like, get into the next. Topic yeah, we are new for fun. Um, sure. Which one is it, that? We're gonna just go ahead and get into is oral sex for your pleasure mm -hmm. or for theirs? Mm -hmm. Both of them, but really, my personally, I love to suck a dick. Suck a dick for pride. Yeah, shut up, suck a dick for pride. Never, but mm -hmm. shut up. You just started getting to your city girl shit, bitch. Who are you talking to? <laughs> your future self. There we go. I love sucking dick. <laughs> so I like, I love that shit. So sometimes I be having to tell myself like, but it's literally only dependent on the dick. Fuck the man. Fuck the body attached to the penis. It like, I have to like the way that dick look, the way it feels. The way like I just have to like your penis and then I'll give you head and that's not too many niggas because it has to be thick and long and pretty. Niggas don't be having long. Mm -hmm. Shit, I shit that right now. <laughs> right now. Ooh. Oh, we gotta talk about ugly dicks one day. Oh God, I I seen the ugliest dick ever. I couldn't even let it get hard around me. Like, it was so ugly. But no, it was a raisin. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> Hands up. I believe. <laughs> I believe oral sex is for both. Um, me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of sucking dick like her. Unless it's my man. Because I don't like A man? Dick. Mine. My nigga. <laughs> my my nigga. Mine. My favorite one. Top of, it, top of the list. At least I know I'm in his top three. He's my top three. And I'm also that dick. But Can any we, other dick, like if I'm fucking casually, I'm not sucking your dick. At the fuck off. And I'm really not pressed. I'm. I said this before. I'm not pressed to get head either. I'm a penetration type of girl. So we don't even have to do oral. We can get straight to it, and she's gonna come with. You ain't even gotta spit stop. Her. So. And that's all fucking period. Yeah, but when it comes to oral sex, it's for both of us. Like I just said, I don't care about getting head. Um, I like it. I love it. It's done by the right person. But if they like giving head, then it's good. Yeah. And then sometimes and that's why I like to be in love when I have sex. But that's why I like to be in love. Huh? I like to be in love. I can't. Huh? You guys, I like to be in love. So I like to have passionate. Like I want my. I want to be lit from the rooter to the tutor, from underneath my toenail to the back of my ear. <laughs> <laughs> in the ear alone, the all the follicles are here. So where he licking the guys to be crushed off my face. <laughs> I want to be, I want to be in love. Like, in <sighs> love. I can't even. I can't. I can't imagine that far in the future. Yeah, it is. You can't. <laughs> I can't imagine that motherfucking far. But let me. Let, let, let me just say this. Niggas will try their hardest not to give you head. And no, this motherfucker told me one time. Why the fuck I gotta eat your pussy? It's already wet. First of all, two seconds, not even two seconds before that, he like, man, what you, what you trying to, you know how niggas be, what you trying to do. Motherfucker, your dick already hard, I ain't got to suck it. That go both ways. That go two ways. If we're both ready, cool, let's get into it. We can do the penetration thing. But like sometimes, no, if I really like the nigga, then I want to actually have 
foreplay. I feel like that's really what it comes and down I'm to. And I like long foreplay. Exactly. Cause then like, cause the first stroke just be so like, after you just had a lot of foreplay. <laughs> Not like, you fresh put the, the, the steak on the skillet. <laughs> it do bitch like, but I don't know, it's something about the first stroke every time mm -hmm. that hit different anyway, especially when you're in love. You and this <laughs> word, like, I just, I don't get it. I'm, I'm just coming to conclusion, like, I definitely have, um, what's the word when the reptiles, they shed? I shed my pimp daddy skin. Sim like, daddy pee, not I pimp. am definitely sim daddy pee right Ooh, now. Like, child. It's maybe showing. it's the weather or something. It showed, I was about to but say. But I don't know, last true. year during this weather, I wasn't like this. So we know what it is. But Did you still be in love? You just really don't, like, you be in, like, love. Like, you right, I do. <laughs> like, I just. Mm -mm. I just, I am, I'm actually, I'm a cancer. Okay, next time. Right. Oh, <laughs> Sorry guys, like, I know this is what you guys wanted from me, but I don't know who else to be except for myself. If y'all want to bully her in the comments. No. <laughs> it hurts. I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, um, it's oral sex for their sex. Okay. Their sex, my sex, sex, your sex, our sex. Okay, so next topic we're gonna go into is are you a student or a teacher? Now, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna start this off a lot because I don't have a lot to say. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing to say. I'm probably, <laughs> I'm probably neither. Um, but if anything, I'm probably just a student. Like, I like to learn. I like to be told what to do. I like when a nigga is, like, moving my hand, telling me, like, moving my face, telling yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? Like, adjusting me. I like to be, I like to be submissive. So, whatever you want to teach me, baby, I'm um, going to learn it. Whatever you want to do, I'm going to do it. Like, we can get as nasty as you want to get. But, wait. Being that I want to be the student, you gotta bring it up. Hello, and that be the shit because we'll we'll have the same boring mom and dad sex until you bring it up. <laughs> not mom and dad for the year. I mean, at this point, ooh child. See, I love to be a student at all motherfucking times. I hate being a teacher. I'm not trying to teach you how to eat no pussy. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to teach you how to stroke me. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to teach you how to finger me. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to teach you even how to talk to me mm -hmm. nice. Like, I want you to come. Because one thing about it, I feel like I come to niggas correct. When it comes down to sex, period, fuck everything else, I come correct. Or mm -hmm. I'm going to try and learn your body enough to see what you like, what you don't like. And before, I might have a conversation if I really want to fuck you up in the head. You know what I'm saying? But, like... Mm -mm. being a teacher requires too much dependency on you and then by the time i feel like they get the shit right to how you like it if you're not a quick learner y'all either not fucking with each other no more or it's like you trying to be on to the next so i just really got you ready for the next bitch and now you going back to your old bitch or your new bitch with some better information and some better game because of me i'm doing that with my niggas you be not gonna do that about me hell no that's what I feel. <laughs> so student all the way, because I always want to yeah, learn something new. Student or okay. Learn something new every motherfucking day, bitch. So now we about to straight like that off the highway. Okay, getting off at exit like, twenty. Damn. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, you nigga be going off at exit twenty on to our twenties topics. I'm gonna let Paige B bring it in because this is how she feeling today. Why you? Why you this is how you? this is how I was feeling last time at the library but oh, i still wanted to i still wanted to bring this up because i need to get it off my chest okay because get it off. i want to talk about attachment issues Ooh. um as of lately i realized i have attachment issues really? i never really knew how to explain it like what it was but once i looked up what attachment issues were it's in my name like <laughs> First, Page middle, and last. <laughs> like all of it. So I'm like, okay, yeah, this is me. Um, I need help. So, so what's the definition of attachment issues? Let us know. Do I like fucking dictionary? No, no, no. Bitch, you said you looked it up. Me, bitch. I have the definition <laughs> of fucking attachment issues. Like, I don't fucking know. It's just me. It's so hard for me to like disconnect. Oh, like, say fucking, say me and you, like, we have a strong chemistry, which we do. <laughs> Um, and we just stop talking, it's gonna drive me crazy. I'm gonna figure out ways to be in your life because I have attachment <laughs> issues. Like, I can't, like, right now, I'm with the nigga, 
and I'm trying to figure out how we're gonna stop talking. We can't. He coming to put my bed together tomorrow, like, and I'm sure we'll fuck on it. So it's just like gotta make sure it's dirty. <laughs> I don't know about you, but <laughs> that makes sense. It's just like me. I can't. I can't let go. No matter what the people say, I'm gonna love you anyway. You are my life. I can't let you go. Shout out to Andy too. Period. Oh, I want to sing at my wedding. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just, I, it's hard. It's really hard for me. Um, you know, my situation, my favorite nigga of two years, past two years, you know how attached I was to that piece of shit. <laughs> and bitch, what? Bitch, I gotta tell you a story. You, 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 bitch. Cause I found out he was a lame. Like he a lame in the real world. And I was, I was, ooh, I was, mm, I, was I got a bully. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I have attachment issues. And I just okay. want to talk about that. Um, let me guys, I mean, let me guys. You guys let me know, let us know if you have attachment issues and Please. like what it looks like for you so I can feel less lonely because I, I have a problem. Right. So I would say for me, if you don't have attachment issues, how do you avoid that shit? Because I know me, like I, my personality I'm not addicted to anything. Like I have very good. What's it called? I, why do I want to call myself resilient? I'm, I have really good restraint. I will say that. Like I don't know what it is about me. I think it's the hardheadedness. It's clicking. It's clicking, Steven. I'm hardheaded as a motherfucker. And if it don't go my way, sometimes it gotta be the highway. But like if it makes sense, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But I've never just had an addictive personality to anything. Like I've never been a super fan about a celebrity. I've never been addicted to one style, one type, one thing. I love to switch shit up just in everyday life. So I just feel like when it comes to niggas, I don't be attached too easily. And I love to switch them out. Just like I like to switch my closet from winter to summer. Just like I like to switch my hair every two weeks. Period. Say. Shout out my girl Summer Walker and bro, you can come on show anytime you want. Anytime you want to. So we won't touch you. We won't touch you. You can sit mm -hmm. over there. But you'll still be very much on camera. We can make sure you got a room for your people so they can watch bubbles in the other room. That's a night. Have a night. Mm -hmm. That's cute. She's the cutest little blue ruler too. She's she gonna be the prettiest like girl at the party. She is. And, and girl, and we won't, we we can talk to you about the questions before because we don't want to push your comfort. Period. Girl, because I love you. So we'll do whatever you want to do when you come on your show. But you're going to come. You won't cut. And we're gonna see you somewhere. Period. Okay. So if you have attachment issues, whether you avoid it or whether you real into it and you trying to figure out how to fuck that shit go, leave it in the comments, y'all. Okay. And let us know please so so I can so I can have some buddies and maybe I'll like start talking y'all. We can make like a attachment group. <laughs> Not a group attached me. together. <laughs> attached maybe the motherfucking just be attached head. to each other since we're all so attached. Period. Okay. Especially y'all like. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So she not Pim Daddy P no more. It's about that season that she turned into Simp Daddy motherfucking P with the motherfucking T. Sorry, guys. Right. <laughs> so I have something good to read, you guys. Um, yeah. Not off the dome today. Mm. It's off the phone. Mm. Off the dome, off the phone. Bless you. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's really on Yanny. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to challenge you guys a little bit here. Do it, batch. It's easier to fool... I don't like the way I said that, so I'll, I'll try over. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. Mark Twain. Mark Twain. And um, <clears throat> let me just say this: <laughs> you, me, her, her, them, him. We all been lied to since day one. Hello. <clears throat> and um. The day I had to start unlearning a lot of shit and relearning how this world really works, Thanks. I went crazy. Yeah. And honestly, I'm so glad I did because now I'm okay and now I see things in different light. Now I don't really stress about shit because a lot of this shit does not matter. But um, yeah, I challenge everybody to try to unlearn and do your research as I always do. Here we go. So, you know, this has been another episode of Local Fine Shit, the podcast. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. And we'll see you guys next week. Mañana. Is that tomorrow? Next week? That's tomorrow. Um, anyway. Mañana. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. No roches. No roches.